Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of Danganronpa, Goodbye to Spare. Today, we're supposed to, uh, I guess, keep exploring the Monokuma Funhouse. Last time, we stayed at the... Uh, the Grape House with the girls, apparently, because we lost uh, rock, paper, scissors. And there weren't any more rooms in the actual strawberry house where the boys were staying. So, uh, we just took like one of the crummy rooms, I think, in the grape house. But yeah, today is, a, I guess, a special episode in a sense for two reasons. First reason is I think we're going to find the corpse. I think we're going to find the body. Because Monokuma has put us in a situation that is very exhausting. And I think someone is going to use that as a motive to kill very soon because you know we're dying from starvation and it's already been a day since we last ate so I don't think they're going to suffice for too longer you know but the second reason is that I'm gonna take five to ten minutes approximately before actually starting to play to make a run through of what characters are left and my perspective on those characters like how they tie into the story, what role they play. I did not do this the last time I played um, the first game. Um, and I would like to do it now. I think it would make interesting, interesting content. So, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I've given this thought. There's nine people left alive, right? There are six dudes and three girls. And like, by normal estimates, if we're going to say that there are three chapters left, including the one we're in, so like four, five, and six, and let's say two people die per chapter, then that would be uh, six more deaths, which is very intense, uh, because that would mean only three people would survive. I'm not sure if that's going to be the scenario. It seems kind of extreme. We're gonna see how that plays out. I didn't give that area too much thought quite yet because I feel like I don't have the resources to to say one thing over another. And um, what I do have to say is that I made my basis on my idea or my theory that I said last episode of this whole thing being like a sort of video game or kind of like a virtual reality kind of thing, right? So my ideas kind of tie into that. If that at some point is disproven and is completely a false theory, then my ideas would probably go down with it. At least some of them. I'm not sure if all of them, but at least some of them. So, and now let's go with a run through of the characters. Who I think the top contenders are for survival are probably Akane. Because last game, Hido survived and I feel like Akane is kind of like a reflection of Hido and uh, Hina you know because she's kind of stupid like Hido uh, and laid back as well kind of to some extent um, when the situation is dire at least but at the same time she has that like sporty attitude and is very precipitated in taking actions sort of like Hina and for some reason both those characters survived last game like you wouldn't expect that those two personalities would survive in, in this kind of situation but they did so it might not be like the best basis but it's my reasoning to why i think akane would live of course i'm gonna say us as the main character is gonna live as well uh unless they they pull a sneaky on us which would be very cool i would very appreciate if the main character dies in, in one of these games because it's not something you normally would ex expect, right? Um, but we'll see. I, I think I think we survive. And we have um, the the mafia babyface dude, Kuzuryu. What was his name? I, I can't remember his his name, but that was his surname. He, I think he survives as well, mainly because he already had this uh, confrontation with death, and at the same time. I think his character is being built upon the fact that he did not have a true reason to live apart from being an, an asshole. And now he's like he's like a soft boy. 
it's like his true personality is, is starting to show and he's starting to cooperate and I think his life is gaining a new meaning and that's very interesting so I don't think they would rip that away from us. If he ends up dying then okay, I, I don't care too much about the character but like I'm just making this basis. Um, that would be the three survivors if six people die, right? But I'm not sure if, if six people are gonna die. Let's go with, with other people. Chiaki is a very strange, very strange character because she feels inhuman to a sense, right? She reacts very differently than everyone else. Like, one could say she has a laid-back uh, attitude during confrontations and all that stuff. And also she's uh, extremely and surprisingly very, very smart. But at the same time, I don't, I don't know if I'd say that it's just a laid-back attitude. It feels like the situation where a foreign person goes to, to, to a country, right? And they totally do not know the, the customs and the cultural inheritance and everything. So they just feel really out of place, right? That's the feeling I get from Chiaki. But the thing is that she is Japanese based on what we've heard right now, right? Uh, the only foreign student here is actually uh, Sonia. So, uh, it came to mind that she might not be human. And this is where the, the whole theory of the video game scenario comes in. Like, I, I've been involved in, in a bunch of anime and stuff where presence in video game is very uh, high caliber, to put it in a sense. And AI has taken the form of very intricate and detailed individuals. So, thinking based on that theory, Chiaki kind of reminds me of the AI version of Chihiro. You know the, the AI version that Chihiro uh, built into that laptop in the last game? Uh, but that did not have a human form because, of course, we were in real life. But if this would be a video game, then I do not see why not uh, an AI could have a human form. You know, just like kind of like an NPC, but like super intricate, super detailed, and like to model a a human being. So if Chiaki falls into that category of like an AI, she would not have reasoning to kill because. AI don't have that reasoning, do they? I don't think they have like moral standards or anything. So a motivation wouldn't wouldn't drive them to kill. But uh, I mean, things could happen, of course. I mean, AI could turn bad. I guess I don't think that's the correct word, but it could be a scenario. Um. Another thing is that we haven't seen a death by accident, right? We haven't seen someone kill someone else by accident. Uh, except, I guess, kind of the first game. Uh, the, the first trial on this was kind of by accident, but at the same time, not so much. So, they've been emphasizing that quite a lot. They've been emphasizing that on the previous game, if I'm not mistaken, and on this game, but they haven't take an action into it they just like said uh, well monokuma just said oh you know you can kill people by accident uh and no one ever does so taking into account that an ai doesn't have like moral standards and stuff and wouldn't kill out of motivation what if they kill by accident that would be an interesting plot twist for chiaki uh it would be i guess it would be very sad if she died but it wouldn't be the first AI to die if she turns out to be an AI because uh, the AI version of Chihiro also died. Um, but she's like in a gray area because I don't know if she's going to die or not. Then we have Nagito. Uh, I swear to God that, that motherfucker is going to die. Uh, I swear. He's so desperate in, in trying to die. Like not even kill someone. He, he does not want to be executed. He wants to be the victim because he wants to help like someone kill for hope reasons right so i'm gonna guess he's because he's gonna like end up convincing someone or he's going to make like this very elaborate trap or something of the sort and he's gonna end up dead 
that's just my thought, honestly. And uh, I guess it's a good sense. I wonder how that trial will turn out. Uh, and thinking about it, honestly, he could, like, why would he, he trick someone? Like, why would he want to die out of hope? Like, this is me just rambling right now. Why would he die and try to make someone fight for their own hope if he can't witness that? Isn't he obsessed with witnessing hope and not, like, uh, just dying to give someone else hope to, to escape and stuff? He's a, a weird character. A strange character. He's very complex, I think, in, in his way of thinking. I guess he's, he's pretty traumatized. He looks very traumatized. He has those crazy eyes as well. We'll see how he plays out of a character. He's also in like a gray area. Well, not not as a gray area. He's, he's gonna die. I swear he's gonna die. Um, it's in a gray area of depending on how he's gonna die. Like if he's gonna convince someone or if someone's actually gonna like burst out and kill him because let's be real, not everyone likes him. Uh, of the characters, of course. Who else do we have? Uh, Sonia. I don't know. She's so wholesome. She's so wholesome, I, I don't know. I don't see her killing. Unless she turns out to be like a, a Mikan 2.0. But no, like, you could you could see Mikan being, being like, a, a repressed person, right? Sonia seems very outgoing. I guess that comes accompanied with her title of being, like, the ultimate princess and stuff. Honestly, it would surprise me if she kills someone. Uh, I don't think she's going to kill someone. I can't imagine anyone wanting to kill her. Like, imagine the consequences of killing royalty. I don't think they're very good, are they? So, I don't think anyone is, like, going to target her. I don't feel like anyone hates her either, so, like, she doesn't have any awful situations or awful relationships with anyone else. Uh, so, I think she might be a survivor, but that makes us have four survival, uh, survivors up to now, which is kind of uh, strange, I guess. It, it wouldn't end up making sense, I think. Uh, unless maybe like three people die in a chapter or something like that. I guess that could happen. But I have no theory on that. Um, let's go with Gundam. I'm placing him kind of in a gray area as well, but I think he's more inclined to being a killer. I don't see him being a victim because he doesn't look or appear to be a, a mean person, and he also doesn't appear to be an easy victim to kill either. Uh, so he doesn't really fall into the category of being a victim, but he kind of does fall into the category of killing. Like honestly, he feels like a schizophrenic person. No joke, he, he feels like he's mentally ill. I don't think that's the case, I think I'm just exaggerating. I think he just has like a very intricate way of, of speaking and stuff. But I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna place him in the killer slot just because I feel like either he's gonna feel like his little hamsters are threatened, which would be really funny if he kills to save his hamsters. I also have this stupid idea that he uses his hamsters to kill someone, but I do not think that's gonna be the case. But that would be very funny as well. Um, but uh, yeah, I would incline to put him in the, in the killer slot, like in the black end. What else am I missing? I'm missing an Akomaru. Uh, that's a robot now. I already called him out to being the victim in this chapter. Uh, I said that last episode because he's been speaking about his sleep function quite a lot. And um, I don't think that's a good thing. I don't think you should blurt out that you have like a sleep function that basically paralyzes your whole body for an uh, undetermined period of time making anyone basically able to kill you even if you're a robot and you can withstand the bazooka someone could just like uh i don't know deconstruct him the only person that comes to mind who has the ability to uh, deconstruct him is uh kazuichi but kazuichi doesn't seem like a killer either i actually thought of putting him as a survivor unless someone decides to kill him but i don't see that happening I don't see him as a killer, even though he looks very desperate in a lot of situations, and he agonizes a lot. But I don't think many situations would drive him to murder. He just doesn't seem like to have the balls to, to murder. Like, I, I guess that's a good thing, of course, but I don't know. 
that takes us back to Inaiko Maru. Someone's going to kill him this episode. So one of the people that I named as maybe a possible black end will end up killing him. Uh, I think I've only named two people as black end, right? Or, or as possible black ends. One is Chihiro. Or Chihiro, she's not in the game. He's not in the game. Um, Chiaki, sorry. But she's in, a, uh, she's in a gray area. So like, not even a confirmed black end on my perspective. And Gundam, which is also kind of in a gray area. Um, but like thinking about it, like I said it as a joke, but what if he does use his like little hamsters to get into the circuits of of, of this dude, of uh, Mekamaru, as, as Chiaki calls him. Because like, I can't think of anyone else who, had the ab who would have the ability to tear apart a robot other than a mechanic which I don't think it's possible, he doesn't seem to have the balls. And a guy with hamsters that can get his hamsters inside, right? Uh, I don't think Akane has the strength, and I don't think she would want to kill Nekomaru. And I've already placed her as a survivor, so that's about it. And I think I, I, went, a, I went through a run-through of every character. That's like my hypothesis as of now. I guess we're gonna be proven or, or not. Starting this episode, maybe. I hope. And I wanted to say one more thing about the main character, is that we do not know what his ultimate ability is. And last game, the person we did not know what the ultimate ability was, uh, was um, Kyoko. And she was very, very crucial for the story development. So, I have two theories. One theory is, well, our main character is very crucial for the story development, of course. But to a degree of Kyoko, and that's why we do not know our ultimate ability. That could very be possible. And the other is, if I remember correctly, um, Makoto did not have an ultimate ability. He kind of self-proclaimed himself as the ultimate lucky student for winning the like the lottery thing that gets you into uh, Hope Speak Academy. And he also kind of self-proclaimed himself as the ultimate hope, but I don't think any of those two are like super official titles for Makoto. I don't, I don't have that very clear. Plus, we already have an ultimate lucky student, and that's uh, Nagito here. So, my theory is: what if main characters don't have ultimate abilities? Is it possible to get into Hope Speak Academy without an ultimate ability? This is me asking you guys, but like, don't answer if it's a spoiler, because of course I would not want to know. But if main characters don't uh, necessarily have to have an ultimate ability to to get into Hope Speak Academy, is there like a is it like in sports where you have like the main team of people, and then you have everyone else who's on the bench and is just there just in case? Um, and the metaphor with that is that the main people playing the sport are the people who have the ultimate abilities in Help Speak Academy, and everyone else who's on the bench is like a, a type of like reserved team or something of the sort. It's not like a thing in Help Speak Academy. I don't know. I guess we'll we'll have to find out. Those are just like my theories. Now we're just gonna start, I guess. Um, we were left at the lounge, Grape House. I think we had to check the time or something. I remember I did not check the pet last episode. I totally like forgot about that. Let's just clean that. And just get out, I guess. I don't know. Let's check the lounge. Let's see. This lounge looks bigger, doesn't it? I feel like it has two tables and the first lounge in Strawberry House had like had like a little table with couches, I think it was. I don't know, I don't remember completely. Let's see, the time is 9 a.m. When was the morning announcement normally? I can't remember for some reason. Okay, it's it was it like 8 a.m. or something? I think it might be, I don't know. It's later than I'm used to waking up, but I guess it still counts as morning. I mean, yeah. <laughs> now then, what should I do now? In this kind of situation, panicking will accomplish nothing. Might be better if I spend time like I normally do for as long as I can. I should find someone to talk to. Or it might be a good idea to just stay in my room and conserve my energy. 
Okay. I was not expecting free time under these circumstances. But hey. I guess we have free time. We were trying to complete Chiaki's, right? Free time. Let's see. Okay, she opens the door. I don't remember if we have presents on us. That might be uh, an inconvenience. Sorry, I'm thinking about stuff. Let's play after we get out of here. Oh, that's sad. We can't talk to Chiaki. Okay. Then I guess I have to think on the spot who else I want to build bonds with. Because I totally forgot to do that. We already have Sonya maxed. I'm not entirely uh, fond of Akane, so I might not talk to her. Let's see. Let's go to the first floor, I guess. Uh, who of the dudes would I like to talk to? Oh, Sonya's there. Okay. Who of the dudes would I like to talk to? I don't know. Do we have to take the elevator? I guess we do, right? Let's go then. Hmm. I don't think I want to talk to Nakamaru. Man, this is tough. Okay. Maybe Kazuichi. He seems like a... He's weird. Uh, kind of perverted, but, you know. Do I want to talk with you? I don't really like talking with you. You always accuse me of stuff. So let's see. Do they have portraits? Okay, yeah, they do have portraits. I wonder who drew the portraits on this side. Sure, let's talk to Kazuichi, I guess. Does he want to talk? If he doesn't want to talk, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh... Oh, he was sleeping. Well, fuck you, Kazuichi. I'm still inviting you to hang out. Okay. He has, like, sharp teeth. I'm not sure how to feel about that. I spent time today chatting with Kazuichi. Okay. Looks like Kazuichi and I grew a little closer. Sure. Do we have anything on us? We have one bottle of water. One kokoshimi, which is the pulpy white inside of a coconut. If you would eat with soy sauce and wasabi... Yeah, okay. We have fresh bindings, strips of cotton cloth. Mm, I don't know who would like that. We have a silver ring. Jabayan jewelry. Ogami clan codex. I don't think he likes to read. Mm, thousand cherry blossoms. Okay. A two-sided ukulele. He doesn't seem like the type of guy who likes to play instruments, does he? Uh, Lust Setsugeka. Does he seem like the guy to drink? Sure. Uh, how do I give it to you, bro? Okay, it seems like he's okay with it. Let's see. Oh, you're gonna give me that. It's like, whatever, but, oh well, at least it's free. Man, why did this happen? We're on a tropical island, you know? Surrounded by a blue sea, you know? And there's plenty of ladies here too, so why do we have to be involved in all this killing nonsense? Although Kazuichi's intentions are probably not pure, I agree with what he's saying. If this was a normal school trip, it would have been really fun. Man, and here I thought I was finally going to go on a school trip for the very first time. First time? Didn't you go on one during middle school? I was supposed to, but I ditched it. I, um, faked being sick and stayed home. Oh well, I had a lot of reasons, but my family is really poor. My classmates were pretty much a bunch of boring turds, so I was like, who cares if I don't go to school? But my old man found out later and beat the crap out of me. <laughs> well, obviously a parent would be mad about that. But I sometimes got yelled at for ditching school events during elementary and middle school too. My damn old man, he knew better than anyone that we didn't have any money. Ah, we were in a bike shop. 
at my place, but it's seriously hard to sell bicycles these days. The only customers we get now just need a flat tire fixed or air pumped. But yeah, despite that, I'm the genius mechanic of my family. I can take a look if a bike or car needs fixing, and I can fix anything from kids toys to household appliances. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Well, I've been surrounded by junk and tools ever since I was born. So I just have a habit of taking things apart and putting them back together. I see. So that's the environment the ultimate mechanic was raised in. My old man is just hopeless though, so I'm always the one who's helping out at the shop. In fact, to tell you the truth, I was really excited when we first arrived at this island. Everyone here was pretty colorful, has pretty colorful personalities, but they all seemed like interesting people. I was really looking forward to enjoying my youthful days here, until all this crap happened. Damn it, it's my dream, you know. I've always wanted to go on a trip with friends and stuff. Oh wait, we're not close enough yet to call each other friends, huh? Huh, I don't know when people suddenly decide they're friends or not. But since we seem to have the same goal, maybe we can at least call each other comrades? Comrades, huh? Sounds pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to working with you, comrade. Kazuichi extended his hand and I gripped it. I tried to let go, but for some reason Kazuichi was glaring at me, and... <laughs> Dude, okay, like, we were having a very bonding moment right here, and I actually got the feels for Kazuichi, like, he became, like, from a, a kind of, like, normal character to, like, oh, this dude's pretty cool, and then he comes up with this shit. Like, what? why, dude? Why do you have to be like this? <sighs> okay, so, Hajime, who are you aiming for? <laughs> what are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? I'm talking about the ladies. Depending on your answer, the alarm clock in your room may be modified into a time bomb. If you have time to make something like that, you should spend it actually being productive. It's pretty amazing that he's able to think about that kind of stuff at a time like this. But despite his luck, Kazuichi seems like a pretty normal guy. I learned a little bit about Kazuichi today. Okay. We didn't even give him an answer. Sure, I guess. After Kazuichi was finished hammering with uh, me with questions, I was finally released. I'm guessing we have more free time. Okay, there should be time for me to move around. Since Chucky looks like she's up, let's talk to her then. She's right here as well. Please. Fuck you, Chucky. Fine. Let's go see if we can talk to Kazuichi again. I don't really want to... Uh, start like a third conversation a third free time sequence I don't think that's the productive way of managing it sorry if you hear like a dog barking it's probably mine let's see um, okay there's what was your name Fuyuhiko that was his name okay I don't know why I like suddenly forgot his name let's go up he might still be in his room or you might be at the lounge. I don't know. Honestly. Uh, you here? No, you're not here. Are you in your room? You probably are in your room. Let me check. Not this one. I always forget he's in the crummy room. That's sad. We, we can just go into his room. Is he here? Uh, no, he does not appear to be here. So, where could Kazuichi be? I don't know. Let's see. He might be on the third floor. I don't think he went over to the girl's uh, house. Let's see. No, here's Gundam. Okay, I guess. I don't see Kazuichi anywhere over there, right? No, I thought he maybe like was hiding over here, but no. Okay, I guess we have to go back to the girl's room. Uh, the girl's house. He probably is there because Sonia, right? But, I don't know. Let's see. Let's just check here again. He's not here, is he? No. Let's go then. Might have missed him. Because I was like right there. Oh well. He might be in the bathroom too. You never know. Let's check. Maybe. Uh, okay, no. I guess not. Let's go then. 
So let's see in which area. He's right there. How did I miss him? What the fuck? How did I not see him? Did you? Uh, you guys must have seen him. And like, I just appeared to be blind. I don't know. Maybe I like got down the stairs and was like looking over there and just like straight went to this. I wasn't expecting him to be here. I don't know. So dude, let's talk again, I guess. Just in case. I'm only asking you this just in case. You better not have done anything weird with Miss Sonia while you were rooming with her. What should I do? Should I invite Kazuichi to hang out? Sure. Let's go again. Then let me know what it's like staying at the ladies' garden at Grape, uh, Grape Tower. Is it a grape house, though? Kazuichi asked me a lot of probing questions, regardless of whether they were appropriate or not. Looks like Kazuichi and I grew closer today. Would you like to give Kazuichi a present? Sure, let's see what we can give him. Uh, I don't want to give him the water. Or I, might, I might have to give him the water. Mm, sure, let's give him the water. Uh, I don't know. It should be neutral, right? He doesn't- he doesn't seem to like it too much. Okay. Hmm, I wonder if I can disassemble this. Well, I guess it's worth it. It's, dude, it's a bottle of water. How do you disassemble that? You take the cap off, you drink the water. Ah, oh, jeez. Why aren't there any vehicles with engines on this damn island? Well, there was the choo-choo train, right? And I'm guessing the roller coaster must have, like, an engine? I don't know. At this rate, I'll take anything. A go-kart, RC toys, a baby carriage. Just let me tinker with something. Baby characters don't have engines. There's nothing I can't disassemble, so I took apart the alarm clock inside my room. And when I did that, I couldn't put it back together. Oh, so there are times when even the ultimate mechanic can't fix something. Of course, that sort of thing happens to me all the time. One time I was tinkering, uh, tinkering around without thinking and before I realized it, I made some kind of car thing. For some reason, the things I fix always end up being some kind of vehicle. I don't understand that at all. Uh, I don't mind messing around with the frame or connection uh, or connecting the electrical equipment. But guys, definitely need something with a rumble and some bam bam bam. Hey Ajime, you know what I'm talking about, right? You know what I really want right now? Um, Kazuichi is probably talking about... I guess an engine? You're talking about an engine, right? That's what you want to mess around with. That's right. That's exactly it. Disassemble, reassemble, see how it goes. Disassemble, reassemble, see how it goes. Doing that over and over gets my brain moving. I really miss the smell of oil. You're right. I haven't really smelled anything like that since we came to this island. But even if there was a car here, you couldn't drive it since you don't have a driver's license, right? There's no way I'd do something annoying like that. I'd just get motion sickness anyway. I just really like the feeling of an engine running. I like all kinds of machines, but vehicles are definitely the best of the best. After all, they look so awesome. Man, I really want to go home soon and start working on my bike again. Oh, you're been making a bike, huh? My dream machine is seriously awesome, you know. According to my calculations, it has a top speed of 585 miles per hour. Man, I really miss tinkering with that thing. Oh, but it's obviously, it obviously wouldn't be street legal. And since I get motion, uh, motion sickness, I can't ride it anyway. What's the use of making a ride that you can't even use? I don't understand that at all. Kazuichi's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. Okay. After talking with Kazuichi some more, I went back to my room. Do we have even more free time? Okay, there is more free time. I'm guessing this is the last one. We're gonna attempt one more time to see if um, this girl wants to talk. Chiaki. Because I want to finish her free time event. I guess no one's in the room. Okay, it's kind of awkward. That is actually a really cool room. I don't know. Very interesting. Uh, let's go back then. Leave here, yes. Where could it be? I don't know. Is she in this area? Doesn't seem so. Maybe she's on the third floor. Let me just check so I don't have to go uh, up the stairs again. Okay, I'm guessing that's the Monokuma Archive. Yep. 
This place is pretty big, isn't it? Well, she doesn't seem to be here. So let's go down. Here it is. I kind of got lost with the whole color thing. And I guess now we just directly go down to the first floor. Uh, she might be here. I don't think she crossed over. She might have, though. Sonia. Mm, doesn't seem to be over there. Okay. Apparently she crossed over then. Okay, let's go then. Let's see. Is she over here? Nothing over there. Nothing over there. I should probably use the map, shouldn't I? I don't know why I'm not using it. She might be the tower. I don't know if we have access to that. I guess we, we do. There is a Fujiko. Do we have a map of this place? Let me check. So Fujiko is there. Mikamaru is there. Gundam is in, is in his room. Let's see. No one's on the third floor. No one's on the... Oh, is she in the tower? She is in the tower. Okay, let's go. Probably should have went there. Let's go. Okay. Let's see if she wants to talk. She might not want to talk. Yeah, she doesn't seem like talking. Fuck, okay. Uh, then, she seems very depressed, and I do not like that. I guess... She, uh, yeah, here he is. Okay, let's go. I guess we're gonna talk to this dude three times in a row. Okay, he's bored. Very bored, apparently. What are we gonna do? We seriously don't have anything to do. What should I do? Should I invite Kazuichi? Yeah. I don't know what present to give him. This is bad. How much longer do we have to live like this? I spent time today trying to calm down Kazuichi while he complained. Looks like Kazuichi and I grew a little closer today. Yeah, let's see what we can give him. We have no more water. Uh, we could have given him the... Uh, what was it? The Kokoshimi. Sure, why not, dude? I don't care anymore. Okay, it seems like he likes it. Oh, you're gonna give me that. It's like whatever, but oh well, at least it's free. Hey, Ajime, do you have a dream for the future or something? Hmm, I never really thought about it. Maybe I've forgotten what it was. How about you? Do you have one? Well, you know, sort of. Since I'm a mechanic, there's not much a guy like me can do besides tinker with machines. So, if I'm gonna reach for the stars, then that's the only one for me. Do you mean an F1 racer? Hell no, something bigger and faster. Oh, never mind, don't even think about it. You'll just laugh. You'll definitely laugh at me. See, I told you, your face is totally giving it away. I'm making a face. <laughs> don't you get it? I mean, if I'm talking about the best mechanic, then I'm obviously talking about that. Just don't even think about it, forget about it already. Does he want me to guess or not? Um, I think Kazuichi probably wants to me to talk about... Rocket ship sounds cool. Oh, cool. It is a rocket ship. Laugh all you want. I don't care. Why would I laugh? That sounds amazing. Seriously. I see. I see, I see. Okay. Don't you think rockets are amazing? They're the biggest and the fastest. They're at the very top of the vehicle food chain. <laughs> Did not know a vehicle food chain existed, but thank you, Kazuichi. But still, there's just one thing I'm worried about. No matter how hard I work to make uh, such an awesome machine, there's no way I can give a girl a ride in one. Yeah, if you get motion sickness in a car, you'd have a really bad time inside a rocket. But a fantasy like that is very you, I guess. Have you ever overcome your motion sickness? I can totally imagine you riding a motorcycle with a girl. You'd probably hang out with a bunch of delinquents and get into all kinds of trouble, too. So you think so, too? I mean, it's normal to think like that? Kazuichi, did something happen all of a sudden? 
No, it's nothing. I just remembered something I need to do. So, later. For some reason, Kazuichi abruptly walked away. I don't really know why his attitude changed. Okay. Is that all free time for today? While still holding on to some hazy thoughts, I decided to go back. Um, what time is it right now? Hmm, it's already 10 p.m. Just as I thought. I can't get a sense of what time it is when there are no windows or monokuma announcements. It's still a little early, but I should go back to my room. Fair enough. So all we did was basically spend the whole day with Kazuichi, and I'm not sure how to feel about that. But it was interesting. Okay. I'm trying to do my very best not to worry, but even I have my limits. I'm hungry. Oh, I heard that. Jeez, are you whining already? It's only your second day. It's so jeez <laughs> of you to do this that all I can say is jeez. You should s just stop being stubborn. Hurry up and start the killing already. What do you want? My, my, you don't even have the energy to be mad, huh? Well, I have good news for you guys. You all lost your drive ever since you guys got here, right? You have the drive of an old man in his 50s. In order for you guys to get your energy back, I'm providing a special service with all my heart. So, everyone, please gather at Grape Tower tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. 7 in the morning? There's no alarm clock in this room. How do you expect, expect me to wake up? That's your responsibility to figure out. By the way, being late is strictly prohibited. Okay then, goodbye. What a bitch. What an asshole. Service with all your heart, huh? It's no use. My stomach feels so empty, I can't stop thinking about food. If I know Monokuma, there's no way he'll provide that for us. Damn it. Okay, I guess I, we have to rely on luck to wake up. I pulled up the thin covers of my food on, desperately trying to ignore my hunger pangs. And went to sleep. <coughs> Monogumba Theater, nice. Okay. Today I interviewed random strangers on the street and I asked them, What do you hate about Monogumba? Here are the results. He has a foul mouth, a terrible personality, and he's a rude pig. But he's still popular despite all that. He's a lazy ass who doesn't work hard at all, and yet he's more skilled and better than people who do. Not only did God give him both hands, God gave him everything. <laughs> he always talks crap about others, but nobody really talks crap about him. That he's willing to die to protect the woman he loves. That he can't live without me. He's usually cold toward me, but he takes good care of me when I'm sick. He always slaps me around when he drinks. But afterward, he cries and gently hugs me. I hate that his job changes every time he gets a new job. What are these? Re what? He is extremely re uh, responsive when other people say things like drinks, group dates, and promotions. I hate that my daughter suddenly got curvier after she enrolled in middle school. What does that have to do with Monokuma? Those were the results. Oh, uh, I'm so loved. I don't think I'll belong to one person for a while. Yeah, I, I have no idea what that was, honestly. Let's see. I'm starting to feel this strange chill. Well, it obviously must be from hunger. What time is it now? I sat up much slower than usual, then headed straight to the lounge. Hmm. 6.30 a.m. It's a miracle I was able to wake up. As I recall, it's bad if we don't gather at Grape Tower by 7 a.m. I don't expect much from Monokuma, but I guess I should go for now. So do we just go to Grape Tower? Fair enough, I guess. Let's see. And here we go. Okay. Yeah, everyone's here, apparently. Everyone who gathered here had pale faces. Man, I'm tired. I'm seriously so tired. Stop complaining, you're bringing me down. But I'm exhausted. 
Not only can we not eat food, but we're being forced to come here early in the morning. This isn't about just you. We're all getting screwed here. But we're getting screwed the most. Obviously, we're more tired than everyone else. I mean, we had to take the contact elevator to get here from Strawberry House. So we had to walk all the way from Strawberry Hall to the elevator, and then walk all the way over here. The longer you walk, the more calories you burn. So obviously, we're more tired than you guys. Stop whining. You're fine, you don't have to worry about getting hungry since you're a robot. I'm in a similar situation. I left my charger inside of my cottage. Man, you guys are already starting to brag about how unhealthy you are. You got a lot of nerve coming here. Now that we all have now that we have all gathered here so early in the morning, what do you intend to make us do this time? I just want everyone to be healthy again. Healthy. You're losing your drive because you're burning rubber down the unhealthy highway, right? I'm offering this service so that you can all feel healthy again. So, from this day forward, I'd like you to take uh, to make Monokuma Tai Chi part of your daily routine every morning. Monokuma Tai Chi. Alright, start the music. What the crap is this, dude? Of course they're both doing it, aren't they? How do they have the energy for that? I don't know. This is clearly affecting my hunger. Why exactly do we have to do this? I don't do it, okay. Uh, this is not good, is it? We sure worked up a good sweat. Staying healthy is definitely super important. Oh, fuck off. We did a bunch of pointless exercise things to you. And now we're hungrier than ever. I can't move. The road to good health is not an easy one. It might be painful, but we'll do this again tomorrow. Unless something big happens, I won't allow any tardies or absences. Make sure you remember that. You intend to keep making us do this? Guys, I don't think I'm going to last till tomorrow. <laughs> Enough already, how much longer is this going to last? Didn't he say until the killing starts? Why is he smiling? It seems the plausibility of those words is finally starting to affect us. If this persists, uh, persists any longer, it wouldn't surprise me if something really did happen. I don't want to die in a place like this. If I'm going to die in a place like this, I might as well... What are you saying? Calm down. I can't fucking calm down. There's no food. There's no way to escape. If this goes on, everyone's gonna starve to death. Wait, are you telling are you telling us to just wait until we starve to death? I'd rather have that happen to us than have our friends kill each other. Do you mean that you'd rather die? I got it. You're just saying that because you're the traitor. You're planning to make us all weak so you can kill us all. What are you saying? <laughs> Fess up. You've been secretly getting food. Uh, I swear you're better. Okay. Okay, she's speaking English now. Nice. Let's see. Making a scene is just going to make us hungrier, so let's just calm down for now. You're right. Even if you guys fight, our situation isn't going to change. Wait to die from impending starvation, or wait for someone to kill someone else before that happens. At any rate, it's a rather difficult situation. Which is the true hope? I'll just follow what everyone else decides. Okay. Um, if you're going to choose, you should hurry. The longer we keep waiting, the closer we get to death. Fair enough. What do we do now? The conversation ended there. It seems nobody had the energy to keep talking or arguing, so we silently left Grape Tower. I'm just standing, but I feel dizzy. My sense of balance is off. It's like I'm on a rocking boat or something. That doesn't mean I should just stay put. If I just leave this matter alone, something bad might happen. 
It's not like I'm worried, but I should go see how everyone's doing. More free time, dude? Nah, this is going to be a boring episode, I think. I don't think Chiaki is going to want to talk, is she? We have to go talk with Tazuichi again. I guess. Yeah, she doesn't. Even, she's not even in the room. Oh no, she is. Does she want to talk? Uh, apparently not. Okay, she's fucking depressed. That's for sure. Let's leave then. Let's go see if Kazuichi wants to talk. He might. I don't know. Let's see where could Kazuichi be. Let's check the map. Um. So you have Akan in her room, Sonya in her room, Jack in her room, uh, Nekomaru there, Kazuichi is in the stairs front, okay. Over there. Do you want to keep talking or not, bro? Like the fourth time. Okay, he walked away. Does he still think I'm the traitor? Okay, that's not cool. Who do we talk to? I don't even know anymore. I don't think Akane would like to talk, would she? Uh, let's see. She's probably like really depressed as well, I don't know. Hmm. Let's see if she wants to talk. Don't worry about it, I don't think you're a traitor at all. Besides, if I think too hard about this, I'll just get even hungrier. Okay, she does want to talk. Okay. Man, even talking is painful. Fair enough. I spent some time today lazing around with Akane. Looks like Akane and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Akane a present? Yeah, I think she would like the, the fresh bindings, I think they're called. Um, These. Apparently she does. Oh, what's this? Can I have it? I could have probably pawned this off for some decent cash, so I'll gladly accept it. Hey, you. What? What's your name again? It's Hajime. Hajime Hinata. Oh, right. That sort of sounds like your name. Sorry, sorry. I keep forgetting somehow. I'll remember it easier if you keep giving me food or something. Are you an animal or something? Oh, well. Later. Hmm? Wait, hold on. We, we only just started talking. Well, even so, I'm not interested in someone who looks like they have low fighting power. Just from looking at you, you're probably, you're probably around a two. I don't deal with anything lower than trash, you know? What kind of measurement system is that? Like, why are you fo focusing on fighting power? That doesn't matter in gymnastics, right? Gymnastics? What are you talking about? I mean, you are the ultimate gymnast, right? Oh, that. Setting records and winning competitions is easy money money you're just doing it for the money yeah that's right i've been doing it since this really persistent old man convinced me to give it a try i've been running and jumping all over the place ever since i was a kid you know it's uh what's it called again that thing where you run non-stop through a bunch of cluttered areas is i kind of talking about that it's when you keep running as you jump around obstacles and buildings parkour is that parkour Oh, that's it. That's exactly it. That's what the old man called it, too. Well, it doesn't matter what it's called. When you got people uh, uh, chasing you, you just normally, you just naturally end up doing parkour when you're running away from them. You should try chasing me sometime. I seriously won't get caught. What kind of situation do you get into where you need to do parkour in the middle of the city? She's pretty crazy, but I'm a little jealous of how cheerful she is. Kana's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Okay. After continuing my mostly one-sided conversation with Akane, I left the area. I'm guessing we have more free time. Uh, there should still be time for me to move around more freely. But what should I do? I guess let's talk to Akane again. I don't think anyone else is going to want to talk to us, honestly. Okay. What should I do? Sure. Let's invite her to hang out again. Um, I spent some time today trying to cheer up Akane. Looks like Akane and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give her a present? Uh, yeah, I don't know what we have left. That's like the main problem right now. 
Could she like maybe like the codex thing we have? Ogami Clan Codex. She might like that. Oh, she does not like that. Okay, never mind. I don't know about that. Unless it's food, I don't really feel like receiving anything right now. Well, that was a waste of a gift. Oh well. Let's see, it's no use. I think I've reached my limit. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, yeah. I'm hungry a lot of times. This keeps going until I die. What am I thinking? No, if I stayed locked up in this place any longer, I'm seriously going to go crazy. Exit. I need to find the exit. Where is it? Where is the exit? Damn it, where the fuck is the exit? The final dead room is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Monokuma. Only those who win the life threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the Octagon, the famed holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. Now then, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final dead room. Okay, I mean, we don't have a choice, do we, so... Nobody has gone inside there yet. That life-threatening game, it's just another one of Monokuma's lies. It's possible that the exit is on the other side of that door. That's right, that's definitely it. Then I should go. I should go to the final dead room. I have barely any energy left. I can't even run decently. So am I gonna have to actually walk? Yeah, I can't run. That's sad. Okay. Let's go to the dead room then, or the final dead room. Man, it's so slow, dude. Come on. I know you're hungry, but whatever. Ah, oh, elevator. Let's go. Okay. And there it is. Let's see what's waiting on the other side. As I wobbled and tripped over my own feet, I couldn't help placing both hands on the wall to brace myself. If I win the life-threatening game here, I'll be able to go to that octagon place, right? That's that's where the exit should be. I did it. I finally did it. I finally figured out where the exit is. I can get out. With this, I can finally get out. You can't do that. You shouldn't go in there. You won't find what you're looking for. That's not true, Chiaki. The exit's going to be here. There is no exit. All that's there is the life-threatening game. Even if you clear it, you'll only obtain the weapon that Monokuma prepared. Do you want the weapon? What are you planning to do once you obtain it? Do you need it? You had this intense, worried look on your face while you were walking, so I followed you. I followed you. Looks like I made the right choice. Let's go back, Hajime. Okay? Oh, I thought we were actually gonna go inside. Oh well. Chiaki and I went back to Grave House together. The weaker my body gets, the less sense everything seems to make. We're on the verge of starvation, or of, of starving, to death, and there's no way to escape. Is it really okay just to lay here and take it, or...? This morning, I couldn't help feeling angry that I said what I said in front of everyone, but I don't really think that it's okay if we end up starving to death. I need to do something. I need to do something soon. And then, all of a sudden, I began to feel faint, lost consciousness. Mm, that's not good, is it? Okay. What was that noise, though? How long was I asleep? I regained my consciousness a little after hearing a faint rumble in the distance. What was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? But I didn't feel the ground move. Maybe I'm just confused. And as soon as I mumbled that, I, a feeling of exhaustion that filled me with ambivalence toward everything began to overpower my body. And once again, I sank into the depths of unconsciousness. More Monokuma Theater. Nice. Let's see. I had been gaming all night until the wee hours of the morning when I decided to go on the convenience to the convenience store. There I saw some guy with good looks, fancy clothes, nice shoes, and a shiny expensive car. There's no way a guy like that actually exists. He really lives in a rundown apartment and all he has is a pri his pride because he doesn't have a stable job or money. But he wants to show off so much that he's forcing him himself to do that. From morning till noon, he carries around boxes and furniture from his moving job. And at night, he works at a bar and serves big mugs of beer. But even with that, he still doesn't have enough money, so he sponges off his parents back home. 
As that fantasy played in my mind in front of the convenience store, I started to feel bad about myself. Uh, okay. Good to know. Uh, I guess we're awake again. My body won't move. This has never happened to me before. I'm awake, but my body feels so heavy that I can't move. Also, it's really cold. Fiercely cold, as if the core of my body is getting numb. But I need to go to Grave Tower. If I don't go uh, to Manukuma Tai Chi, everyone will suffer. Somehow, I managed to muster what little strength I had left and crawled out of bed. What time is it? Though I felt incredibly weak from hunger, I managed to drag my heavy body to the lounge. Okay. Uh, it's already 5 minutes till 7 a.m. I really don't want to waste my energy participating in that activity, but if I ignore Monokuma's rule, everyone will get in trouble, not just me. And I don't have the energy to complain. Let's go to Grave Tower. Okay, this is gonna be a slow walk, isn't it? Yeah, it's a slow walk. Okay. Is this where we're gonna? Is this where we're gonna find the body? Maybe, because I think it's about time. Why is she so cheerful? Sonia, you seem energetic. What's so funny? My goodness, Hajime, when did your face become mon black, uh, blanc of all, all of a sudden? She's not energetic. She's extremely dangerous. Um, just the corner is fine, so maybe if I take a bite of you... <laughs> you'd get a stomach ache. Oh my, now there's an adorable shortcake. Okay, she's like hallucinating or something. I'm not a shortcake, I'm Chiaki. Chiaki, you too, are you about to head over to Grape Tower? It's almost time. Come on, if you're too slow, we'll be late. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's go then. Then I'll press the button. When I pressed the button, the door in front of me instantly opened. It was very sudden. That's right, it's always sudden. The door to despair always opens suddenly. Okay, so it's actually a dead body. Okay, I fucking called it. I'm happy about that. But I wasn't expecting something so brutal, I guess. Uh, I was just expecting he would be. Someone would have pressed the sleep button and he would have just gone unconscious and then he would have been dismantled. But. That does not seem to be the case. This seems to be a little bit more brutal than I would have expected for the death of a robot. I wonder what that blue stuff is. Is it because maybe when you, I don't know, is it because of the mixture of the light with the like the supposedly pink, uh, pink color that makes it blue? Uh, I don't know. Why would he have blood? I don't know. Maybe his brain? Not sure. On the other side of that door, I saw the remains of our friend. Chapter 4, Do Ultimate Robots Dream of Clockwork? Okay. Body found, huh? Body has been discovered. Mm -hmm. Man. That pillar fell down as well. That Whoa, whoa dude. A violent shiver coursed through my body. My heart began to pound faster and fa uh, faster, and I could feel the blood in my head pulsating intensely. My teeth were chattering with horror. What the hell is this? When I was finally able to speak, my voice sounded so small I could barely hear it myself. Why? Why is this happening? It's so strange. He finally, he finally came back to us. If this is a nightmare, please, just let me wake up. I couldn't think of any other way to describe it. Nekomaru, no. This is a lie, right? Based on our situation and the body discovery announcement, it's unfortunate, but there's no doubt that another killing has happened. Killing. I can't deny this truth, but why? As usual, 
That was the only word I could squeeze out. Hey, what happened? Oh, Akane's reaction, dude. I don't know if I'm prepared for this. Akane. Move. Move it. Okay. Akane pushed me aside and ran straight over to Nekomaru. Is she gonna have like the same circumstances of um, Taka in the first game, where he became like a totally different person after Mondo's death? I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. Damn it. This is just too much. Why? Why did Nekomaru have to die? Though his appearance was drastically altered, he still came back to us. Why? What does this always happen? No matter how much I try to stop it, this is always the result. Is this something I can't stop? Hey, Nekomaru got killed, right? That announcement means what I think it means, right? Who did it? Who killed Nekomaru? Looks like someone is finally pumped up. You know who did it, right? Who killed Nekomaru? Don't get mad at me all of a sudden. In fact, I'm the one who should be mad. I went through a lot of trouble to bring Nekomaru back from the dead, and he already let the killer break him. How disappointingly foolish. Maybe he had a few screws loose? No, because he's a robot. Are you talking about Nekomaru? Akane, calm down. Use those powers that, you, that your anger has awoken for the investigation. Um, Marukuma, is there any way you can fix Nekomaru? Hmm. I could have fixed him if his head was still attached, but since he's like this, it's impossible. Plus, last time this happened, it was my fault, but this time the killer is one of you guys. I am under no obligation to fix him for you. I guess it was a waste of time to ask him. A life that dies once will never return twice. That's reality for you. So, even though it's getting a little boring, let's get on with the usual routine. The Monokuma file. Also, this is a gift from me to you. Red bean bread and milk. Food. Okay. I brought you guys a present since the killing went off without a hitch. Besides, if I don't feed you, you guys probably won't last long enough for a class trial. I'll definitely find out who killed Coach and Ekomaru. And after I kill that guy, you're next. I'll definitely destroy you. So, even though it sucks, I'm gonna eat first. If I don't get some food in me, I can't unleash my full power. You're right. If we're gonna avenge Mekamaru, we gotta regain as much energy as we can. Damn it, I'm gonna eat. Come on, Hajime, you too. Yeah, you're right. I've been waiting to eat something for so long. Damn it. I never expected I'd feel this terrible when I finally ate again. Eat slowly. It'd be bad if you get a stomach ache. We ate our food in silence. Slowly, my blood began coursing through my veins. I started to slowly regain feeling in my numb body. Phew. Looks like you've gotten your energy back. Then, let's hurry up and start already. I'm gonna do it. The killer and you, I'm gonna beat the shit out of both of you with my bare hands. Uh, regardless of whatever we start or not, what has happened to the others? They appear to be extremely late. You mean the guys in the strawberry house? Now that you mention it, no one's here. That's weird. They should have come to Grape Tower for the Chai Chi class. Jeez, how unacceptable. I never expected all of you to ditch Monokuma Tai Chi. Honestly, it was way beyond my expectations. Well, since it happened anyway, I guess it is what it is. Everyone ditched? Does everyone include us too? Now, do your best to investigate. I'll see you again in the, at the class trial. I hear, I hear something. What do you hear? Could it be Nekomaru? Of course not, he's already dead. Oh well, now's not the time to worry about that sound. That sound? What are you talking about? I don't hear anything. And what about Gundam and the others? Is it alright that we have not summoned them here? They're gonna come here soon anyway. Now's not the time to worry about them. You're right. They should have heard the body discovery announcement already. They'll probably come soon. Maybe. 
Then we should start to investigate soon. Yeah, you're right. I gotta do it. I have to do it. Okay. First, I need to look at the Monokumo file. Uh, 6-4. Holy fuck, that's tall. Uh, the victim is Nakamaru Nidai, aka Mekamaru, after his robotic transformation. His body was discovered in Grape Tower, which is inside the funhouse. His head is severely damaged and beyond repair, so that shall be considered the cause of death. Despite the fact that his arms and legs are dismembered, these limbs were actually designed to be detachable, and it seems they separated due to a severe impact. Aside from that, several other areas of his body are damaged. Because of this, many of his functions seem to have shut down. His arms and legs were detachable, and it looks like they separated due to severe impact. Does that mean Nakamaru was repeatedly clubbed with some sort of weapon? But was there a reason they needed to club him over and over again? Monokumo final number 4 has made it to the truth boards. Okay, this is where I'm going to end the episode, but before that, I want to say... Um, I think the reason why Monokuma hinted that we all ditched uh, the Taiji class or whatever it is is because the killer changed the hours on the clocks itself, right? I think that might have been the situation. So, I'm gonna go with that. But, I guess we'll see that next episode. I hope everyone is doing well. Remember to subscribe. Remember to check out my social media as well. I leave links to those in the description below. Especially Twitter. I recommend you follow me there. And, uh, yeah. I guess I'll see you guys next episode. Next episode will probably go on Christmas Day, so I guess happy early Christmas just in case. Hope everyone is doing well. Wish you all much love. See you guys next episode. Bye.